Hey, this is Prajwal Joshi from India, and you are watching Trucker Josh on TJB. Good day, everybody. It's Tuesday. There was no video from yesterday on Monday. I'm sorry. I had the day off. I was getting a couple of things done that had to get done. But we're back here and we're trucking. I got a load behind me. The best kind of trucking. When you're, when you're pulling stuff around. Okay, here we go. So we got these, uh, or this roll tight trailer, right? I'll show you how they open here, okay? So uh, I'm gonna have to prop you up over here, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to hang on, okay? You're just sort of leaning against the air hoses here. So hang on as tight as you can. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. See, now you're behind the air hoses. Well, that's not gonna work. But you stand there. Oh, very nice, guys. Okay, there you go. Hold on, okay? Push this in. Lift it up. Ah. Guys, I said hold on. So you do that on both sides, and these things are super easy to open. And it's so much better than tarping. I've showed the majority of you this, so if you've seen this from me already, just bear with me. There's a lot of new viewers. Don't mind the wind. I'm gonna do that again right here, okay? So I'm gonna push this. Push my elbow. Oh boy, I can do this with one hand. You see me? You see me? Trucker Josh special. Open it up with one hand, okay? And then here I'm gonna need two hands. There we go. Come on. I'm gonna need two hands here. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. I'm gonna hold you guys in my chin, okay? Okay, there we go, you see it? You see what happened right there? And then all you do, if it's working right, you can just pull on this thing here and... Da -da 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 -da. You have to sing that every time you open it. It's a requirement. comes all the way back here. That's the way it's supposed to open. Smooth like butter. And all this stuff in here stays clean and dry. Otherwise, if we didn't have this thing, we would have to uh, tarp it. And that's a nightmare that I don't want to experience. So thank God for roll tights. I'll show you here what it looks like. Okay, where's the wind at? I don't know it's gonna, oh, there it is, there it is. So. We gotta stay on this side of the truck. There's less wind over here. And to close it, oh, it's just as windy here. Yeah. To close it, you just grab this thing here and you. Da -da 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 -da. Mandatory, you have to sing that song. I don't know why, it's annoying. It's a little heavier this way because I think I'm pulling it against the wind. That's okay, we got it. And you just hook it back in here. You're good to go. Wow, is it ever windy all of a sudden? You know, I came out here to vlog and I'm like, oh good, it's not windy at all. This will be great. As soon as I press the record button. Mm -hmm. Pull this here. Hooked in there all the way up there. Do that there and do the same on the other side and it's locked in. See? Nice and tight, ready to go. Oh, where's the tornado? It's crazy windy, jeez. Okay, so that was fun. I hope those clips actually turned out. <laughs> I hope it's not all just wind noise. If not, I probably just added a bunch of music over it. So if you're wondering why I'm talking and I've just got music playing, it's because of the wind. Oh well. Okay, so we're all loaded up here. Gotta head back. All right, children. Here we go. Whoa, just making sure we're alive. Let's get out of here. Just had to stop and use the bathroom real quick. We're just at the co-op in too long. Let's not drag our trailer through that ditch because that does not look like fun. It's a pretty steep cutoff there. 
have to call Mr. Good old Dr. Hook if I drag my trailer in there. And then I gotta explain that to the shop. Yeah, I need a tow truck. I forgot I was pulling a trailer. here this business really likes their flags just like me what do we all got we got the Canadian flag with the indigenous guy in the middle of it the native guy there and we got the Canada flag then we got the Ukrainian flag in the center and then we got the US flag and the Métis flag they got all the flags and then the big one big old Canadian one here yet too just in case you did miss the other one closely and focus your eyes look at the green grass it's showing itself it's there and the trees have begun to bud I'll have to show you our trees at home are budding good signs good signs there's good times to come summertime is upon us very soon now you don't want to blink or you'll miss it but it's coming Okay, we got about two more years of spring. And then we get about a week of summer. Okay, and then we have another uh, six to eight years of winter. But summer's coming, we're almost there. something but there is a small win out of this the win is that the wind is coming from the states it's coming from the south which means it's gonna be blowing warm air up here for this week and later this week so I bet you anything I haven't looked at the forecast yet but my own unofficial professional prediction and forecast would be that warm weather is on the way I'll have to double check that once I stop that's usually how it works. Just gotta get through the suicide intersection here. The super B's gotta go through first. Thanks. Okay, he's clear that way. Yeah, he's not clear that way. That sunshine feels so good. I'll have a trucker tan in no time. Are you gonna give her, bud? No, you don't got No, you can't. It's gonna take them a little while to get through here. They've gotta do something about this intersection. It's just crazy. It's a nice uh, day cap Pete over there. Nice. One of these days, I'm gonna have time. I just don't know what day it'll be yet, but one of these days I will have time. It's been a busy day today. I had a few errands to run after work today uh, that I can fill you in on later in the week or maybe next week, trying to get a few things, a uh, few T's crossed and I's dotted and uh, seeing what the future holds. But for now, I'm about to head home. No time to wash the truck tonight. Uh, usually I'd wash it after work every day. Gonna wash it in the morning. Uh, I just have to get here early in the morning and wipe it down, wash it in the morning so I can start the day with a clean truck. I don't like starting the day with yesterday's dirt. It's about time we got some sunlight, right? Just wrapping this up here. Uh, not much happened on the Mon or uh, Tuesday. This is Tuesday's video. I keep thinking we're on Monday. Sorry, I've had a lot going on right now. I'll show you our yard where we're at. We've got the water draining away from the house here. 
down there and the yard seems to be seems to be drying up you see the lake over there is disappearing this all here is still pretty muddy but uh, better right a lot better another couple of days and we should be good to go one of these years I don't know when we probably won't be able to do it this year but eventually we're gonna have to raise this whole yard up to the level of that this thing is coming down this year everything that we have in here is going into the shop and this thing's coming down uh, eventually it's probably gonna go over to our land for some uh, storage there but for now we'll probably just store it away neatly somewhere and this area is going to be like our uh, outdoor dining area. It's a nice packed limestone pad. And uh, eventually maybe we'll build a deck up on there, maybe a little gazebo. But for now it'll just be a nice little pad. But you see how much higher that is than the yard, right? I'd like to get topsoil in here and dirt to match the yard to that height. So that over here, the bottom of the shed is all covered by dirt. Lift it up and all of that water will hopefully, if we do it right, I mean, I won't be able to lift up his yard there. But if we do it right, we'll be able to get the, the water to all drain to the back over there. There's supposed to be like a little easement there between the, the properties. So this house, our house was built before all of these houses around us, right? So since they're newer, they took the opportunity to build up higher. So all around us is higher ground and then it flows down here onto the older property, which is uh, lower. But back here, eesh, I'd like to have all the water flow back here. I'm not too sure exactly where we'll direct it to. It'd be nice if we could just direct it all the way to the street in the front, right? And let the sewer take care of it. But and then we got to drain it past the houses, between the houses, past the houses. And I don't really want to bring any water that's in the backyard past the house to the front yard, to the street. I want to keep it away from the house. I don't want to bring it anywhere near the house. And that's just something we got to live with. Usually spring isn't this crazy. It's usually not this wet. But it is what it is. I'm going to wrap this up. It's a beautiful day. Probably going to go for a bike ride today or something, get some exercise in. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you want to know more about me. Uh, hit the, the button below, read down in the description, it tells you all about me, where we're at right now, and why we're here doing what we're doing. I've been doing this for about 11 years. There's also a playlist on my channel where you can go and watch all my videos from number one all the way to where we are now on what, 2530 or 2529, somewhere around there. Quite a few videos, plus there's a whole bunch of extras on there too. I have over 3,000 videos on my channel that you can go and check up on. Uh, if you're new, what else can I say? If you guys want to be included in the vlogs at the beginning there, where uh, there's a little intro, if you want to create an intro for me, I have an email address that's just for the channel. There's the business email address if you're looking for work, truckerjoshkeystonewestern.com, right? But if you want to uh, reach out to me personally for uh, anything related to the channel, you can reach me at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. I've uh, just got that going now too, so if you have any intros, if you want to uh, record an intro, uh, saying something like, hey, my name is this, and I'm from here, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. You can s make it however you want. Uh, as long as you're not swearing, I can't include that. It's a family channel. But uh, you can uh, make it your own. You can make more than one if you want to. And I want to start including these in the vlogs again. Uh, I've done this twice before, so we're going to do another run of this. So if you want to film it... Um, how I would recommend you get it to me is that if you have the app Dropbox, upload it to your Dropbox and then send me the link at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Uh, I'll put the, the email down below in my videos as well so that that's there as well. If you're looking to come work with us, there's the truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com. But if you're looking to send me videos for the channel, truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Does that make sense? Make sense? Good. Clear as mud? So you can film it. Uh, if it's a small enough file, you can just send it straight through to the email there. I'll get it. I'll download them all and uh, start including them in the videos again. Unless you have another uh, a file sharing program that you want to use, uh, I'll try to accommodate whatever I can. Uh, but if you can get those to me, that'd be great. I'd love to include you in the videos if you want to be a part of them.